So today we are going to look at June 2018 locust questions and the same rules applies use rollers and compasses only for all constructions also this must be done on a same single diagram the question reads construct triangle PQR in which PQ is 7.5 centimeters R angle PQ is 90 degrees and P angle QR is 30 degrees so I'm going to draw you will be given a line uh, like this drawn and measured 7.5 centimeters please confirm with the ruler that this 7.5 centimeters and i'm going to construct my 90 degrees here this is where r angle p q is so on point p there will be 90 degrees so this is how you can construct your 90 degrees you can also watch video lessons in the victory access app step by step tutorials so this is my arc that will enable me to construct 90 degrees in a faster and easier way so i'll put my needle on where the arc intersects the line so let me put an arc here to construct 90 degrees i'll extend my distance between the pencil and the needle so this is my first arc then i'll switch my canvas and go to the other end where it intersect uh, with the line i'll draw an arc again then i'll take my ruler and draw a straight line from point p to where the arcs are intersecting like this like this so this is my 90 degrees and now let's check for r angle p q it's 90 degrees and P angle QR. So at Q we are going to construct 30 degrees. So in constructing 30 degrees, we first construct 60 degrees and bisect. So here I'm going to demonstrate the easiest, shortest way to construct your 30 degrees. If you didn't you didn't watch step by step video lessons, please download Victory Access app for step by step video lessons. So this is an arc for my 60 degrees. Then I will intersect that arc. Let me switch my compass. Switch my compass like this. Do not change the distance between your needle and your pencil. So this will be 60 degrees. But I am not going to draw a line for 60 degrees. It is unnecessary. I'm just going to bisect uh, from the points so that I get my 30 degrees directly so i am just uh, bisecting 60 degrees so that i get 30 degrees so this is my first arc they'll go on the point of 60 degrees and also put another arc then i will have to draw a line from point q to where the arcs are intersecting so I've bisected the uh, 60 degree angle. Let me align my ruler. My ruler must be aligned from the point Q to where the axis are intersecting. Like this. And then I have to label. Let me remove my ruler. Then I have to label. Let me choose a font. Ah, uh, and these thirty degrees. I label thirty degrees here. Then. I also need point R I 
let's not forget that this is a right angle so you put a sign that is a right angle or right 90 degrees and this point r which was missing right now that i have labeled pqr go back to the question i need to construct the locus of points equal distance from q and r so i will identify q and r from a diagram and bisect so i'm bisecting a, a line because i'm given two points I'm bisecting a line i explained this in my step-by-step -step video lessons in fact access up so you extend your, your canvas distance until it is more than half uh, half of the line so let me change my ink here let me change my ink to green so that we can see the axe So these are, are the axe from the side of R, then I go to the side of Q, I also do the same with the side of Q, let me switch my canvas, I'll go on point Q, then I will construct an arc. So where these arcs are intersecting, I join so that I bisect my line QR. So these are the two points I've been given. So I have to, I have to bisect. So I'm drawing a line here. Let me align the two points of intersection of these arcs. Now I'm taking my pencil, I'm drawing the line of intersection. So this is the line of intersection. Or the locus of equal of equal distance from R and Q. Then the next question on this is that we must construct a circle with the diameter QR. So the diameter QR has been bisected already. So the point of bisection or the middle point X is the center. So we can just put our needle at the center. This is the center. We can just put our needle at the center. Hmm. This is the center, right? So I'm going to take my canvas. And touch any of the points Q or R and draw a circle. Because here yeah, I'm already at the radius. Let me change the color here so that we can see our circle. If I am correct, my circle must touch uh, R and Q since they are the points through which this uh, the circle passes. Because it's a diameter, so both ends must touch the circumference like this. Right, you can see that uh, Q and R are part of the circumference. So this means my circle is correct. Then the next question, measure and write down the length of one radius of the circle and side PR in the triangle PQR. So I'm just going to take my ruler and measure and write the the distance. I'm going to write the distance. So I take my ruler.
then measure from any point even from q or from r to the center so here my measurement according to my ruler is 4.4 4.4 centimeters 4.4 centimeters as you can see so I'll write this as part B radius is 4.4 centimeters radius is 4.4 centimeters oh, my mistake it's 4.4 centimeters I will also take my ruler and measure the side PR Let me take my ruler and switch so that I measure PR Let me retake my ruler So let me align and measure. Yeah, I can see this 4.3, 4.3, almost 4.3. Let me align. Right, this 4.3 according to my ruler. So I'll write PR is equals to 4.3. So this was 2, then I write PR is equals to 4.3 centimeters. Then we go back to the question. And see the next requirement. The next requirement was to mark and label points X and Y on the circle, which are equidistant from Q and R. So the points, these points, you can choose your x and your, your y. So here yeah, I'm going to choose x on top and y. The left bottom. So let me label, mark and label. I'll first label my x. Oh, I'm labeling my X here. Let me drag it to the point. It also marked the point. Please make your marks visible because the question requires you to mark the point. Oh, this is too thick. So like this. I've marked my point and labeled X and I'll mark another point and label Y. right now what is the next question the next question requires us to name a special triangle uh, which is p r y and q so this this circle touches all the points uh, of the circle and then it becomes the cyclic quad cyclic quadrilateral it's a quadrilateral which is fitting inside a circle with all four sides touching the circle so the special name for this is cyclic quadrilateral so this marks the end of our tutorial on this so for more of these uh, past paper answers please download our android app called victory access app so this is a cyclic quad so if you have any questions